What about you? Welcome to Perma Lawn Video. Today I'm going to show you how I green up my lawn in a day or less. So stick around. Now, before we begin, folks, if you're enjoying this video, make sure that you hit the big thumbs up down below, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this. I post regular lawn care tips and tricks on bringing your lawn to the next level. So, let's begin. So, welcome back. Now, before we do anything, before we get into the fertilizers, what we're going to do, we're going to get the mower set up and we're going to get the grass cut. Now, our old friend, Red Thread's back, so we'll have a We'll have a spot of red thread here in the lawn. That is just caused by the time of year, humidity and, and nitrogen defici deficiency, but more often than not, it's just in the air and it comes and it goes. So the fertilizer that we're putting on today will really help target this red thread. We do get a lot of it through the summer. 10 or 15 years ago, you'd have never seen it at all. The last couple of years, it's everywhere. So it's always in the air. You get the right conditions, it's gonna come, it's gonna attack your grass. But generally, it doesn't do any harm at all. It just looks bad for a couple of weeks and then it goes away and your grass should outgrow it. But we're going to treat it anyway. The nitrogen we're putting on today is really going to treat it and hopefully fix it. Right guys, so we had this area around the tree here. We did sort of let it go wild because there was a lot of daffodils and stuff growing in there. Now we're getting into the start of June, we can take those down and then next year we'll hopefully get a good display again from them. All right guys, so we've got underneath the tree done there. We're going to get the mower right, we're going to give that a quick set and then we'll get the grass cut. All right guys, so my assistant father, Chris, only 76 years of age, or sorry, he, he told me to tell you he's, he's only 76 and a half. He's actually mowing stripes and he's actually mowing circles in the lawn, so I don't know if this is going to be like crop circles, we'll have to see. All right guys, so today we're going to talk about liquid fertilizers and spoon feeding. Now spoon feeding is, is a lot different than what we would usually do. I decided this year that I would just, I would do liquid and organic and biostimulants only on the lawn. So that's what we're going to talk about now. Something I've, I've talked about before is seaweed. Now, these guys here are cutting edge for seaweed. I'm not getting paid to promote this. Unfortunately, they don't even sell it to the public, so I can't, I can't sell it to you. But putting seaweed in with liquid lawn treatments is really good because it's going to turbocharge your, your, your fertilizer, but it's not actually going to make your lawn green, but it's going to improve what goes on below there. So that's why we use it. So today we're going to be putting on nitrogen liquid lawn treatment and some of the seaweed. This is going to help stop too much thatch from growing, and it's also going to help combat the weed grasses. Now, we're going to start taking the lawn down in height, and this is one of the reasons why we're going to go for the liquid, as it gives us more control. And the seaweed is going to help turbocharge and make the liquid lawn treatment work a lot better. And then whenever the grass starts to thicken up, at the minute it's just starting to grow, this season was very late starting, 
but as it starts to thicken up and we drop the heights down, then we're going to start introducing some of the plant growth regulators. So I'm going to show you that, but I'm going to show you now how we work out the calculations. So we get asked how you work out application rates. So we have our algae green here and the application rate is 10 to 20 litres per hectare. Now we want to go on at the lower rate, the 10 litres per hectare. So 10 litres per hectare. A hectare equals 10,000 square metres. So 10,000 per eight per hectare. Then we want to divide our 10 litres per hectare by 10,000. So my maths isn't great, let's get the calculator out. We'll have our 10 and we're going to divide it by 10,000 for our hectare rate. And then if your lawn was 100 square metres, you would multiply this by 100. If it was 260 square metres, you'd multiply it by 260. To keep the math simple, we're going to say that the lawn's 100 square metres, so we're going to multiply that by 100. So th that gets us 0.1, so that's 0.1, which is 100 millilitres for 100 square metres. Now, if it was 200 square metres, it would be 0.2. Alright guys, so you're probably sending me, Robbie, why, why liquids or why granulars, why not granulars? We're wanting to drop the height of cut on the lawn and liquid fertiliser is going to give us a lot more control. So an easy way to explain it would be like a, an electric cooker and a gas cooker. Your granulars are like an electric cooker, you turn it on and it can take a while to get going and it can be hard to control. Or else a gas cooker, you turn it on and you can control the heat and it's just there right away. And that's the sort of difference between the liquids. The liquids are very are a lot easier to control, whereas you put on a granular and it doesn't give you as much control. Mm -hmm.